the Chesterfield man promising to serve up an ace performance. But forget Mr. Henman's brave attempts. There's a man in Chesterfield who's about to take to the court, and he's bringing his own musical signature to the game too. Danny Hewson's been to meet him. It's as much a part of British summer as sunburn, sandcastles, and weekends in Skegness. We may not have produced a champion again, but our pleasingly eccentric players never fail to entertain on centre court. Well, it's not quite the form I was expecting. In fact, I'm hard-pressed to call it tennis at all. But nevertheless, a teacher from Chesterfield, John Pickering, has, in fact, turned a racket into a musical <laughs> instrument. John, the first question I've got to ask is why? Well, like many other kids, when I was a child, I used to strum a tennis racket along to the radio and play along with the songs. And one day, I thought it'd be great to actually make a tennis racket that actually played. Quite incredible job, but how on earth did you manage to put this together and how long did it take you? Well, I bolted an old guitar neck onto the racket, fastened the strings just on the end here, fixed a bridge and put an electric guitar pickup on and then strung it up and it took me one evening. Well, it's very impressive, John, but uh, the big question that I'm sure everybody wants answered is, does it actually play? It certainly does play. I wouldn't make an instrument that didn't play and I've actually written a song specifically for this unique tennis racket guitar. Marvellous. Well, I think it's about time that we heard that, John, so take it away. Thank you. Well, I can't play tennis. I'm no good at sport. But I play with my racket outside of the court. It won't make me rich. No, I won't make a packet. But I'm having a ball. When I play my tennis racket, I'll never be a superstar down at Wimbledon. But when I play my racket, well, it really is much fun. I always seem to lose my ball every time I whack it. So I'll stick to playing music on my tennis racket. <laughs> I don't really know what to say after It that. is the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> it is goodness. Friday, yes. Fantastic. I suppose the question we wanted to ask was, why? Yes, why? And would, would a cricket bat do the same? It probably would. Don't set another challenge because somebody <laughs> out there will make one. Uh, it's almost it from us, but we have the all-important news to find out from Lisa because Paul promises sunshine for the weekend. Was it correct? There will be some on Good. Sunday, but before...